Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Derek Elliott from Dirk.com, and it's a little late tonight. It's about 8.22. It's exactly 8.22 Pacific time. Um, but in trying to keep up with the 36 days of type challenge, I've been trying to get the post done the day before. Um, so if you don't know what the 36 days of type challenge is, I can show it to you. It is basically a challenge where every day you make a letter of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and tomorrow's will be K. It actually already started. It starts around 3 p.m. Um, 3 p.m. Pacific, which is midnight in Spain, where the people who host the challenge are based. So I'm going to try to uh, try to get that going. Got a slightly different uh, camera set up here. Let's see. Let's get uh, let's get this moving. Um, so I'm trying to keep the chat in a separate thing over here and I'm trying to keep OBS going over here you know maybe I won't do the pop out chat let's uh oh god this is confusing the way I have my camera I do not have a my thing is not set up for live streaming I've got this lamp too I think that'll be good so yeah, welcome to the live stream. We're going to be making the uh, K today, which is the last letter of my name. So let's start a new file. I'm going to use the kind of base file that I created a while back. And that's just going to have some of the parts and pieces that I need to get this thing going. So I'm blocking my screen a little bit here. Okay, let's hide that. Okay, and now, so Alto Hamey, congratulations, you win first comment. Um, 3D text, yeah, pretty much, you know, so we're making basically just 3D text, but, you know, instead of just making basic text, you can make basic text, and, and that's what some people are doing for this challenge, but what I'm doing is uh, making things that are a little bit more unique. For example, this is the this is the J post that I did uh, on the last live stream, and um, yeah, so it's a J, but obviously there's a little more to it. Um, Alto Hamey, thank you. Are you talking about the intros for like my my YouTube videos? I definitely have a lot of fun making those. Um, let me uh, let's see here. I should probably make this a little bit smaller. Forgive me, I'm uh, still kind of learning this live stream thing. But I'm having so much fun with it, I figured I might as well do a new one right now. Might not finish this one because, uh, like I said, it's kind of late, but I was going to go ahead and get started anyways, so I figured uh, might as well do a little bit of live streaming, see how it goes. Um, so yeah. I'm trying to get my like other screen set up here so that I have nice windows. Um, hmm. I want to be able to see the text. Or sorry, not the text. I want to be able to see the chat so that I can continue answering your questions. Let's try this pop out chat again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think that's working. Put that there. Put that. Oh, come on. I'm looking at my other monitor here, which I moved way over. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and start on this K. So I have kind of a little bit of an idea. I haven't shared it yet. Uh, this is the same page I was sketching on my um, same page I was sketching the other one on. So let's see if I can uh, 
make this a little bit, oh darn it. Let's make this bigger. Yeah, so my idea for the K is pretty much all up there. I kind of want to have like this tarp, kind of like this tarp design. It's making the kind of the legs of the K and then some type of building underneath it, which since I don't have a good idea, this live stream is probably going to be a disaster <laughs> because like I said, it's a uh, part of kind of what takes the longest is really just figuring this stuff out. Let me uh, make this full screen here. Toggle window full screen, just so we have a very slight amount more real estate. Okay, so I'm going to open that base pieces file, and that's just got some of the you know, basic pieces that I'll need to build this. Um, thank you for the kind words, Alto Hami. Channel will be over 500,000. That would be awesome. Are you? Uh, do you predict the future? Because if you do, I like what you're telling me. Also tell me tell me more about the future. So let's get started. <laughs> it's uh, six minutes in, which is usually when I get started. Not not right away at all by any means. Um, so let's make the let's make the base of the K. And um, I have this big box around the outside here, and that's basically the uh, kind of the bounds within which I want to make this letter. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new uh, file here. And that's going to be, we're going to do a new folder, JJK, and we're going to name this K. That way when I save, <clears throat> I'm not saving over my template. So uh, Alto Hami, if that's how you say your name, where are you located? I'm curious because this live stream is a lot later than the other ones I've done which I know is going to make it so some people can't join, but then other people, like you for example, I, had, I don't think I've seen yet, um, you'll, you're able to join obviously. Um, so I'm curious what, uh, what area of the country you're in. Paul M, your job is to answer the same question. Hello. Um, so what was I doing here? So we got our file. Let's, um, I'm going to go ahead and set up my colors. I've kind of explained this before, but I have this kind of material set up so that I can change the color. So the color scheme I'm doing, it kind of looks pink, but it actually is steadily changing. So we're on the 11th day, I think, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, it's the 11th day. So I basically have this node set up that automatically changes the color very slightly every time. So I only have like three materials set up here. I've got kind of like a textured one called Scratchy. I've got one that's a little bit lighter. And um, there's not much to that one. So that's adjustable lighter, which it basically just runs through a, it makes the value more. So it's just a little bit more contrast for me. So I think I've got these all changed. And then I've got this glass material and then I've got my little letter that I've been putting in all the posts. So I'm going to make this a K. And that'll end up somewhere on the building. I'm not really sure where. Um, so Paul's in the UK. What time is it in the UK? I'm curious. Is it like a... Uh, I'm, I'm going to look. Because it'll take a second for you to hear me. Time in UK. 4 a.m. <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed to watch this. It's late. I'm just kidding. Thanks for being here. But um, <laughs> if we go three hours like these live streams have been going, then, you know, it'll be morning over there. Maybe we'll have some uh, some UK viewers. So i got my K there. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and start this basic part. So I'm going to go into edit mode here. This just has a solidify modifier on it. I'm going to press X to delete, Shift A to add a plane. And then I just want to kind of space out my K. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to get rid of the subdivision surface modifier. Don't need that, at least not now. And then let's SY by 10. 
That should probably be pretty good. Probably big enough. Maybe just a little bit bigger. An extra two feet in each direction. Yeah, 430 over there. That is, uh, that is late. But I don't blame you, you know. At least you're doing fun stuff. You're watching a live stream. Hopefully I can be your private entertainment for the evening. Um, I've been up late before, too. I know how it goes. Not being able to sleep. And Blender, you know, is a good way to pass the time. Doesn't really help you go to sleep, though. I don't think I've ever gotten tired, like, while I was working on Blender. I think books are good for that. Falling asleep while you're working. Okay, so that's my... That's going to be the base of my K. And then... So... Now... This part might be a little bit funky. Let's first set the origin to geometry here. So now I can actually use this mirrored object. We're going to change that from my glass material and get rid of the glass actually. So this has a solidify modifier and a mirror modifier, which those are good. I'm going to want to turn on clipping because these are going to intersect. So I'll try to use this piece as my. Uh, Kind of that shade and I'm not sure how well this is going to work out um, you know with all these letters there's kind of easy ways to do it which I would honestly say kind of what we did with the J it's basically just like a top view type of thing but there's also tricky ways to do it so let me first get let me set the origin here on this one to the geon or to uh, the center and I think I'm going to have this have a mirror modifier as well. Um, add modifier mirror. I want it to be mirrored the other way. So let's uh, let's change that. Okay. So Paul M is going to drop off at some point. Well, that would probably be good. Get some sleep. I understand. But uh, feel free to feel free to stick around as long as you like. We're just having some blender fun here. Okay, so this is going to be like it's almost like a. If you've seen those, I actually kind of guessed the name of it yesterday. It's called like stretch tent or sh uh, stretch shade, something like that. It's going to be kind of like one of these things, and that's what'll be. That's what'll kind of make our K shape. At least that's the idea I have. So this is on the ground properly, and then. So my thought is that if this is a building, then this thing needs to go a little bit higher than it. So let's use this little piece right here as a roof. Does this have a material? It does. Okay, so let's make this like kind of the roof of that building. And hopefully we can make this building part a little bit cooler at some point. But right now it's just going to be kind of like a box. So how high is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be fine. Something like that. Now, so if that's, that's the roof, and we want it to cover the roof completely, we'll have that be somewhere up there, probably. And then I think there will be kind of like two anchor points. Let's just, uh, oops, let me actually delete that. And then I'm going to, let's see, Shift D, separate by selection, tab, SX0, SY0. I'm trying to make these like straight, straight poles, which I think is what I'll have this building kind of be connected to, is these poles. 
and they'll kind of be like more structural so we'll make them kind of fat for now okay that's looking decent now these would probably be a little bit curved we did like a science experiment when I was in school where as, as tight as you pull a rope it still has a little bit of a curve to it so let's let's give it that curve let's deselect everything something like that very very slight curve which probably means we need to add more subdivision like if we go on wireframe here and take a look at that oh wait it's got quite a bit oh well you know it might not look right though subdivide and then the skin I'm trying to think about the order let's make sure those are the same okay that that's fine for now we can uh, adjust that later if we need to so now let's try to make this little shade here okay so this part would be up obviously kind of over be nice if these two pieces were the same I'll probably save me some headache later but in blender 2.8 you can go into edit mode on two objects at once okay so here's my shade I'm gonna have to give it a little bit of a bow let me see if I got a good camera angle here. So let's go ahead and set up the second camera angle. Clear keyframes, clear keyframes. I know there's some more keyframes hiding here. Clear keyframes. And then um, shift tilde, that little thing above the tab. I'm just going to get a camera angle set up that. You know, I may use eventually to kind of take a look at this K, which is going to have to be probably pretty straight above. Maybe something like that. I'm just getting that set up so that when I need to, uh, when I need to see how this is looking, you know, from above, see if it resembles the letter good enough, um, I can just kind of switch switch to that view. So that'll be okay. Um, now that material is very light. Well, I don't think I'll be using that one. I'll probably use this one, just my regular color. Now let's try adding, if we bring this up, that's gonna sort of resemble what we'll be going for here. Oh yeah, that, I think that's going to look decent. So now I want to get this to have a nice curve, but I don't want to add too much geometry, so I'm going to use a subdivision surface modifier. Um, I'll put that before the... Let's see, I want the solidify to be the last. No. Yeah, solidify. I'll do the mirror then the subdivision surface, then the solidify. Now, I'd also like to non-destructively add some, you know, obviously I don't, I don't want this coming in like that, so I need to control that somehow. I could use some edge loops, but I'm gonna try to do it. Let's go ahead and crank these subdivisions up pretty high since this is gonna be a pretty small mesh. Um, Okay, so we've got that. Take a sip of my, my drink here. Uh, 
Um, so that's there. I think maybe I can do this with a, a bevel modifier. I was talking yesterday in the live stream about how much I love the bevel modifier. And this is one of the cool things it does. So I think, let's see, if it's after the solidify, no, we don't want to do it like that. Well, that might work. No, it, ha it has to be before the subsurf. So let's do, so it's mirrored, then bevel. Now I think I want the bevel to happen on the vertices. Okay, that's working, but I don't want it on this middle vertice. So uh, Eli Green just messaged me on Instagram. He's been in, uh, I think he's been in some of these live streams. He was begging that we do it tomorrow. Sorry, Eli. We'll probably do one tomorrow as well. I would actually like to record a regular YouTube tutorial though too, so maybe tomorrow I won't live stream. Maybe tomorrow I'll actually work on a tutorial and I'll just try to bust the letter out kind of on my own time. Or still live stream it, but just like a super focus. No questions. Um, so let's see, how can we get rid of... How can we avoid... What's happening here? Hard and normal, so I don't think I've ever seen that. Here I am preaching the bevel modifier. There's something in there I don't know about. Now, maybe if I increase this angle. No, that's not gonna work. Um, let's see if we, maybe if we hide the subsurf, we can see better what's happening. Yeah, so there's our bevel modifier happening right there. I want it to be pretty small. I want it to kind of pinch that corner. Um, and also if we add, let's bring that subsurf back. If we add segments, that should get tighter. It did. So the problem though now is that I don't, I don't want it there. So I think I can do, oh yeah, I can do limit by weight. So now I can just say I want it here and here. And then there's an option here for bevel weight. So I can turn those up, leave that one low. Boom, look at that, perfect. Um, okay, cool. So this is kind of what our K is gonna look like. Now is that cool or is it not cool? Maybe. Maybe this needs to be up here or something. That might look all right. But to make that realistic, we'd probably have to put some type of a like support structure in there, which wouldn't be so bad. No, we can't do that. It's not gonna look like a K. Hmm. Maybe we need to actually kind of go back and look at some of these reference images to see how the fabric gets stretched. So they're usually connected to poles, definitely, which are then connected to other like hooks in the ground. This is almost what we're going for. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's, um, so if this was like a tarp and you stretched it, I almost wonder if we should like make it go to the ground after that. Like if we had done, like if we extrude this. That's going to take away from our shape too much. Get rid of that. I 
or it's just me and one person right now. Who are you? Show yourself. You'll probably leave after I said that. Oh, there's two people. You have a friend. Hmm. I'm realizing now that my little tent idea is going to be pretty boring if I just leave it like that. Which obviously we're not going to leave it like that. So I think this would actually sag a little bit. And maybe we can add a little bit of a cloth material. Let's, uh, let's see if I have a... I think we used the cloth material in the H. Materials... Fabric. So unwrap this. Okay, so that's got a little bit of a texture to it. I don't want to. Uh, let's see. So we have the normal map. And then I have this mixed in with the color. So let's uh, let's get rid of this and this and this, 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 this. Now what I do want to hold on to is I want to basically copy this. So let's select those. Control C. Select this one, control V, and then we'll plug that into the base color. Now I think this normal map's cranked up pretty high. Yeah, it is. That's not really going to help us much, is it? You're not really even going to be able to see that. Hmm. We can work on this building a little bit. Or maybe we like maybe we like cut a hole in that or something. Or maybe it could be two separate tarps that overlap. Ooh. That would be cool. So let me try to let me see if I can explain that to myself, basically. So if that was over there, which now we would not want this to be, actually we still want it to be mirrored, but let's take off clipping. And then, um, wait, do we want it mirrored? No, not really. Let's get rid of that. So if this was a little triangle, let's add the bevel weight there. So put that like that. We have a really bad, uh, really bad mesh there. Let's see if we can fix that. It's a little bit better. A lot of triangles, but not too shabby. So if that was one part of the K, am I thinking about this right? I think so. Does that make sense as a shade though? Maybe this needs to like come higher. Let's 
move it up a little. Just trying to make it look cool, you know? Kind of look cool. Trying to make it look interesting. Okay, so that could be like a... So that would get like kind of tied down there. And then we'd sort of have another one. Let's do a period to wrap around my cursor. Alt D R Z. No, S Y negative one. Control A scale. You know, I was about to get that error. Error. Um so how do we avoid that error? Turn my phone volume off. Let's just do shift D. Shift D, S, Y, negative, type it in. Control A, scale. So one of these would have to be kind of like a little bit lower than the other. I don't really know if my exploration here is going to work quite right. I'm liking the way that looks, but I've got a lot of extra pieces that don't really make sense right now. So I think that could work. But we need to... I kind of like that. I think we're going to have to mess with the design a lot, though. Carthy, it's your letter. You're right. How you doing tonight, Carthy? Or uh, this morning? Where, where are you? India, right? Okay, so we can have, let's, uh, let's get rid of these and start thinking about how these posts would be structured. The more I think about it, I don't think I'd want these to go too far. So we could, let's maybe, so that's mirrored, I think, yeah it is. Let's get rid of the mirror. Tab into edit mode. Let's just try putting posts at all these. See what that kind of looks like. So if any uh, fabric stretching experts join the stream, holler at me. I know you're out there. Austin? I have a friend who does uh, soft good stuff. I actually gave him a shout out on Instagram. So if you saw the shout out but you didn't follow him, you're missing out. He's a, uh, like a soft goods designer, which that basically means, what does that mean? It's like soft goods, like a lot of bags. I don't think soft goods design includes clothing though. 
I mean, technically clothing, I think, is a soft good, but I think that since clothing is such a big sector, I don't know that they typically include that. So I'm wondering why this is so much darker than this. Should be getting fed through the same thing. Is it just a normal map that's doing that? So it's got a roughness of 1. This has a roughness of 0.9. Oh, I bet this probably has a sheen. No, it doesn't. I don't think 0.9 roughness is going to do that. All right, it's investigation time. Why does this material look so much different? Specular, there it is. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, there it is. Let's plug this normal map back, normal map back in. That looks better. I kind of like that. Now I can never remember. I think if you project from view, and you won't have the same no. So sometimes when you have UV maps with a whole bunch of subsurf, we get kind of messed up, which is what we're seeing there. What's up, Gizmo? How you doing? Now it'd be nice if this wasn't all uneven, but I don't think that that would really work. Honestly, it's like kind of cool, just like that. You know, I mean, obviously we'll add some more stuff, but. We could add little hooks where they're attached and whatnot. So what would this be? Let me look back at my sketches. Hmm. I also kind of had an idea that maybe the other part of the K is also like stretched rope. Let's uh Let's um, shift D that, go into edit mode, rotate that. I don't think I'm going to want to do it quite like this, I'm just playing around here. This could kind of go like down here. Some pretty extreme uh, stuff going on here. Let's see if we uh, if we move this out of the way. Oh. My screen goes dim at nine o'clock, which it is. I wonder, does that show up on the, woo, does that show up on this thing, I wonder? Let's, let's check, which by the way, if you're not familiar, there are settings you can do on most devices. Um, on a Windows, it's called night light, and that changes the color temperature. So it's not so hard on your eyes. Which it looks like it does adjust it on the live stream as well. It's not like a localized thing. Um, so I'm gonna turn it off. Anyways, that's good for your good for your vision. Yeah. Um alright, not liking that idea. Let's bring this back to wherever it was, right about there. Okay, let's, uh, all good posts that I've made have some glass in them. Let's actually rename this tarp. Just for the sake of being smart. Tarp, tarp. And then let's add a mesh plane. R Y ninety 
move it up, make it solidified. What did I use yesterday? Point 0.1? That looks about right. Let's make this glass. Pavilion, my post, my post pavilion. Let's uh, X. Oh, kind of looks like a bus stop now. <gasps> Maybe we're designing a cool bus stop. K is for bus. Please tell me somebody's language has the word for bus starting with a K. I actually really like that. I should do more glass, honestly, that's like just, I keep putting that stupid frame and everything. Let's see what that looks like since it's stupid and I put it in everything. Let's change that to color lighter, modifier, add skin, Get rid of solidify tab, control A. This is my quick and easy way to add a frame. It's interesting that I'm getting that smooth shading. Equalize radii, branch smoothing. Oh, branch smoothing, okay. Um, maybe what I need to do is offset this the other way. That would kind of fix the problem. But I bet, nah, it's not too bad. But for what we're doing now, that's fine. We'll prototypey. So I have one viewer right now. And what I'm wondering is, since it kind of goes between one and two and stuff, is it the same one person that's just watching silently? Or is it like one person and then when there's two, like the original person leaves and it's the new person watching and then they leave? I'm very curious. If you're the one person, what up? I'm just the dude on the internet. Holler at me. Seriously though, I'm interested. What are you doing? What are you up to? Do you use Blender? Or are you one of those people that thinks I should do ASMR videos and you're just listening in for your one-on-one -on -one D Rock entertainment? Oh, we got another viewer. This is funny. I'm not doing it for the viewers. Well, I guess it's the fact that I'm live streaming means I am, but I was just going to do this post myself right now. But I've been having so much fun live streaming that I was like, I better live stream it. So here's the K. And then it's, it's the bus stop K. So here's a spot lamp. Let's just have three of them in there. So that was eight feet. Let's go 16. Now I've got those nice little lamps in there. You know what? I could put like a bench in there and everything would be set. Now I have been using some gradient texture in all of these. Oftentimes it's just the cube. So we'll, we'll hold on to the cube for now, but I'm wondering if there's a better. You know, actually it'd be cool since I'm kind of doing this as a bus stop. What if I had a little bus drive through here? Also, what if these weren't randomly out here? 
but nice and even. Oh wait, here we go. We're gonna go Blender 2.8 on you guys. I'm gonna select these, and then I'm gonna shift click this, and I'm gonna shift click this, and then go into edit mode, which I think is on everything. And then select these, and now I think I can move it all at once. And that appears to have worked. Now I gotta go in and fix all this. Okay, so whatever I did there, I made that a little sharper. Hmm. But I mean, it's gonna come to a point. One way or another. I mean, I could drag the... I could drag the pieces out a little bit. Like, let's make these nice and even. Or are they even already? I don't know. So if I put this on the center, and go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, just let's just do five. And then let's move this to the center. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's even that onto that. this onto this now this is pretty pointless looking now so what if I how could we make this less pointless well you know what these could just be on their own posts maybe we should do that so are these both it's both kind of on the ground let's put them on four feet off the ground. Did you hear that? I said four feet off the ground. I'm live streaming from the United States of America. Let's move this up a tad. Don't want them things intersecting. Uh, let's try to even this out. You can press G twice to edge slide. It's kind of a good little tip to know. Um, hmm. Maybe instead of having this, I do kind of like that weird shape. Let me say that again since my mouth was covering, my hand was covering my mouth. I like that weird shape, but I'm wondering if maybe they both could connect to the same post. So I'm just going to do a little experiment off to the side here. Click that, click that, click that. Shift D. So we're going to do a little, little prototyping. Actually, I'll do it right here so I can see it in context. So what I'm wondering is maybe Maybe I don't have these two posts. X, X. Maybe these ones are the same height. S, Z is zero to do that. And then maybe they're further spread out. Like that. And then maybe one of them attaches to the top. So let's attach that to the top, and that to the top. I have to fix this. It'd be cool if I could do like a cloth simulation here, like I'm fluttering the wind. I was actually thinking about ways to do that, but. Well, we might end up doing it. But I need to make sure the shape looks right first. Let's uh, SC0. I want those to be on the same plane. Oops. Bring that up. And then this one needs to be then.
These little box drag things are actually pretty handy. It can be kind of confusing, but actually I think the point is so that things aren't as confusing when you're moving objects, because it used to be that you really had to like keep moving your view around when you're trying to just move things in 3D space. Like if you weren't in top view or something, it could be kind of hard to tell where things were really going. You'd think you were moving it right next to one object and then it would be like somewhere totally different. All right, that looks kind of cool. But again, it's not really serving any type of purpose. You know, if this was like an advertisement or something, you could say it's serving a purpose, but it's not really that. Hmm. So overlapping is definitely a good thing. That gives us a lot of interest here. We get some nice shadows going on. Hmm. I want to find a way to make these thicker. Maybe I do that. Maybe I make them like way wider. Like let's delete this vertice. Actually, let's let's knife tool across this bad boy. And then let's delete the vertice. So now I have quads, which is a good thing. And then like let's keep this fat. Well, maybe by there. It's like that. But then, let's make these further apart. Something like that. And let's put that there, that there. So that the whole thing gets fatter. Just trying to make this a little, a little more robust. I think it's fine to have them come to points, like, you know, and not have it be an actual K. Yeah, see, this is looking a little bit more good, a little more gooder. Now let's chop that one off, too. Delete the vertice. Okay, so now it's looking a little more purposeful. And when I say purposeful, like, it'd be one thing just to make it, like, a cool shape. Like, that's kind of cool looking, but that sharp point is, like, like, what's the point of really having a shade, like a sun shade, if it, it's like that wouldn't really provide much shade. So I'm trying to make something that's just a little bit more feasible, like something you would actually want. Now I've got real crap geometry going on here. Um, do I have doubles? Don't have doubles. Aren't these just quads? I guess it's just stretched. Or is it the, oh, the bevel modifier, I bet. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's redo this. So we want to point there, point there, point there, and point there to be bevel. And the smaller I make the bevel, the pointier the point should be. So if you're just joining, I'm using the bevel modifier to kind of non-destructively add edge loops. This is my whole geometry. And I have a sub subsurf so I can get this nice curve. But uh, I didn't want to actually add edge loops, so I'm doing it kind of with a bevel modifier. God, you use alt so much in Butter 2.8. It's like pressing so many, so many alt keys, I'm not getting what I want. So I want this to be mostly symmetrical. Maybe that K can kind of come out. It's probably going to make me not happy though when I I'll try to align things later. 
Hmm. I wonder if there's a bus model we could get. Let's check that out. Um, then swap. Search blends, bus. I'm sure there is a bus. Is there a CC0 bus? Because as much as I love the Blender community, I hate messing with licenses. School bus. These are all. Oh, CC0. Which, I guess it doesn't matter that it's CC0 because here's the guy that made it. Shout out to him. Now let's see. We should totally use this. It would be nice if you credit me. We might give him a shout out anyways. And if anyone's watching this live stream, you know, obviously. Cool guy right there, DJ 3D I M. So I like his bus. It's CC0. So we don't have to credit him. You know, if, if I ended up putting like this, if this ended up being my favorite favorite animation ever and I wanted to put it in my reel and stuff, wouldn't have to worry about crediting him. Um, got a phone call coming in from the lady. Sorry to my one viewer. I'm going to answer this. I'm back. Thanks for waiting, lady or gentleman who's watching me. Um, so there's a lot of buses on CG Trader too, which is a little more what I was actually looking for. But like, what is the license? Oh, royalty free license. Do they all say that? That's all. Royalty free license. Okay. Guess I can use them. What the hell is going on with those buses? Um, that one looks like it has a nice texture, but it's a really low poly. You know, we should probably use the blend swap one. Yeah, it's kind of fun because it's like a Volkswagen mini bus. I might take the Volkswagen logo off though. Just in case. Let's download this one. This will be fun. Oops. That's my email address. Email me. Now if I refresh this page, I should be logged in. Okay, let's download this to my 111 assets models cars. Ta da! Show in folder. 
extract all. Okay. Um, created with 2.78. All right, let's, um, I can delete all these zipped files I have, I think. Now let's see, let's just try importing it right off the bat. So let's save, file, append, assets, models, Jay Padar, late night stream, baby, you got it. Yeah, my uh, fiance, Caitlin, who I think you were there in the stream when she made an appearance. Um, oh, Le is here too. Um, she's, she had like a thing tonight, so she was out and I need to get this K done. So I, uh, figured I might as well just pull it up, start streaming. So I'm, I just downloaded a bus model from a blend swap dude. And now we're going to try importing it. So there's no collections, which groups appear as collections. So I know collections weren't a thing before. So if you import an old model though, a group will be a collection, I believe. So let's just go object, oh boy. Okay, this is not organized, so, which is fine. It's a free model. Let's say this again. Let's go new, general, and delete everything. File, append, um, Assets, models. So Le was asking, what'd you miss? Not much. You can go back and watch it if you want. Uh, I guess we've been going for about an hour now. I'm making my K. Um, kind of trying out some different options. This was my uh, sketch page here for it. Let's see if that works. Oops. Oh god, I'm looking at the wrong mouse. So the kind of that top corner, I'm trying to make like a stretched canvas type of thing. So we're gonna append. Oh wait, no, no, no. We just want to. I just want to open the file. File open. One 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 assets. I don't know why I named that folder one 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 one. Cars. Volkswagen, Volkswagen. Let's check this bad boy out. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. That's really nice. So this is a, a light. I wonder if the thing is rigged. No. This is really sweet. Um, okay. Now, oh god. These views are like locked and stuff. It's always interesting when you download a file to see like what everybody else, how they do their stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of that, that, that. So wheel has a thing going on. Oh, there's modifiers. So the boolean seems to be giving some trouble. What is the boolean working with? A cube. Cube 001. Let's see if we can find that cube. Cube 001. There's a lot of stuff here. And there are collections in this, so I wonder why. Select objects. 
Oh boy, this is a. I don't really want to mess with this too much, honestly. Okay, for one, I don't want all these views. I was saying it's cool to see how other people set up their files, but at the same time, <laughs> it's not set up like you set your files up. So, what materials do we have? We got car paint, gray paint. Chrome. Okay, not too many materials. Let's just try. So, let's save this as a. Let's just save it as a new file here. Um, so there was a bunch of hidden stuff too. I'm going to try to get rid of as much as I can. Why are there two? I don't want to delete the wrong stuff here. What, like, what are these? Why are they? Why is it grayed out? Maybe it was on a different, different layer or something. Let's try selecting these objects. Try deleting the hierarchy. Delete hierarchy. Delete hierarchy. <gasps> uh oh. Select objects. Very interesting. Well, let's just try saving it. And then now we know. File open recent. K. Okay. And then let's on. Let's. I gotta make sure I remember to do this. Let's do a new collection. Oh, where did it get created? Okay, so let's select that. File, append, um, assets, models, cars, this thing, that, collection. Uh, we better just get all of this. It's going to be way more objects than I want. Okay, now it should all be in that collection. Oh, gosh. Let's uh, select objects. Let's add an empty cube. Where's my cube? Okay, there's the cube. Let's move it up. And then let's select objects. Control P, keep transform. Let's see if this works. Dang it. So those tires have some. This model's gonna be too much. Anyways. Hey, babe. Hi. I think we're gonna end. Uh, end the live stream here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see if I can figure out this uh, bus maybe for the final post tomorrow, but um, I know it's a lot later. Thanks for joining. Caitlin's home. So, I gotta say bye to you all. Thanks for joining. Um, I might live stream the second part tomorrow. I might not. I also, like I said, want to do a regular tutorial. So I might do that and just finish this on my own. But thanks anyways for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.